I'm John Kovach. I'm a newspaper editor. I'm a radio announcer. I'm a high school football coach. And since I was old enough to stand on the side of a stream next to my dad, I've been an angler. I've fished with bait, lures, and flies. I've fished with spinning gear, fly rods, jigging poles, and tip-ups. I've stood on ice, waded rapids, and been tossed about the deck of a boat. And I want you to love fishing, be it freshwater or salt, heavy flows, high seas, or cutting through a foot of ice, as much as I do, no matter what the quarry, no matter the tactics, no matter the chosen tackle. Welcome to Yankee Fisherman. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Yankee Fisherman, presented by the Dock Shop. Christmas is days away. Looking at live video on CNN right now, by the way, of uh, surfers catching waves on a beach in New Hampshire where it's 31 and snowing. We haven't had that weather here in Connecticut, at least for a few weeks. But still, the holidays are upon us. The Dock Shop has been a supporter of us, a presenter of us, a sponsor of us, really almost since the outset we thank them for their support. If you're still trying to get that shopping done before the end of the week, they have some ideas for both the angler and a beach lover in your life. Let's go to the Dock Shop's Dairy End location. So Mike, we're rapidly approaching Christmas. A couple of days left to shop. If you've got a shop for anglers and you've got a shop for home goods, you can really get both under the one roof here at the Dot Shop. Absolutely, we can take care of just about anybody on your list. Um, we'll start off with, with fishermen and, and anglers. And you know, we, here at the Dot Shop, we've got a full line of tackle, all the major brands from Shimano, Penn, uh, Quantum, all the all the big guys, all the lures. Tackle's kind of tricky when you're when you're looking to buy it as a gift. So what we like to do is focus on the things that people might not have thought about. Some of the new innovations that are out there that are going to help any fisherman. There is one that has all of us scratching our heads as to uh, wishing we had thought of it before. Why didn't we think of it? And that is this garage door storage rack. Absolutely. So tell us about the Cobra. The Cobra garage door storage rack, and you can see a video of it in action on our Facebook page. Um, these are, are two guys out of Florida that have basically figured out a way to take dead space in your garage, which is the back of the garage door, and use it as a storage place for your fishing rods, garden tools, just about anything with a handle. Um, the really cool and innovative thing about it is you don't have to drill the garage door. They make it in both size, both size panels for, for garage doors, which is 18 inch and 21 inch. It clamps onto the rails or the hurricane rails and allows the rods to ride up and down without the reels banging on the doors. It's, it's a great idea. Yeah, really. I wish I had come up with that. We've got another idea that we talked about last year that's getting some pretty heavy press Amazing. right now because they were just on Shark Tank. They were. They actually got a deal on Shark Tank, and that's the line cutters. Um, this is a, a line cutting device that can be worn as a ring. Honestly, most guys put it on their rod, right at the base of their rod, or on the grab rails on their boat. It's got two side cutters. Uh, and this thing will cut up to a 100 pound braid with no fray at all. Uh, slices through it like butter. It does mono, it does fluoro, Dacron, if anybody's still fishing Dacron, <laughs> all is well. For, for $12, it's one of the most useful tools you can put in your, in your arsenal. Now, if you watch any of the fishing shows, you've seen the Bubba Blade ads. Do you carry those here? We do. Bubba's a, a new line for us. Uh, it's been doing great. They've got some incredible products. They do the whole gambit of fillet knives, bait knives, utility knives. Two of the new items that they have though that are doing real well here at the shop is a five and a half inch folding blade that's both serrated and smooth edge. Comes with a sheath and it's got that famous Bubba grip. And they finally did the fisherman's pliers. Crimpers, wire cutters, and, and needle nose. People have been waiting for those. Yes. Now. Also come with a sheath and a lanyard. 
Very nice. I was yeah. going to say they have to have something. So you, you don't <laughs> want to drop your bubble pliers. No, those are too nice. They've also got more traditional fillet kits. A little bit more serious, guy. These are are chef quality, restaurant restaurant quality. Uh, it's a it's a kit that comes with a three and a quarter inch paring knife, a six inch boning knife, an eight inch universal flex knife, and an eight inch fillet knife. A handheld knife sharpener, all in a wrappable case with a shoulder strap and handles, done by Swiss Army Victorinox. So it's Swiss Army quality, but you yes. can take it out in the field with you, out on the boat with you, should you choose to. Take it with you and roll. Their steel is unbelievable. It resharpens better than almost any blade out there. Um, it's just been a great kit for that fisherman that eats his catch. Now, you've also got, and this is another one I wish I had thought of, we all try to carry far too many rods in our hands Absolutely. going to and from the car to and from the boat. You've found a product that makes that a little bit easier here? Well, the, the way to go, like you said, is we grab the rods, all the reels are clanking together and we're, and we're walking down the docks or walking out to the Miami, Florida, has come up with a way to, st to store and port five rods. Combinations of spinning reels and bait casting reels, it doesn't matter. All the parts are interchangeable. All the parts are replaceable. Comes with legs. You'll see a, a see it with the legs out. Fit in the back of a pickup truck. Go into an SUV. It's at the right angle. Keeps the reels from banging together. A real nice, easy way to carry your rods. So you put these in the back of your pickup. You can put these in the back of your SUV, and it's at an angle that the rod tips. Everything's going to be safe within reason. Everything stays clear. This guy did his homework on this. Um, and like I said, if you fish more spinning rods than casting rods, you can switch out the tubes. It's got some uh, lanyards that keep the rods tied in, and, and it's just been working great for us. Now, in terms of more conventional angling gifts, you've got rods, you've got reels, you've got lures. What brands are you carrying? We do. Uh, we carry Shimano. We're a, we're a top shelf Shimano dealer here. So we've got everything from the Terez line all the way down uh, to the Seguro and the, and the little combos for kids and, and beginners. So anything from the expert angler down to the beginner, we can fit you with. We've got Quantum, Zepco, Finor, uh, we do Penn. All the major brands are here. We also make our own line of rods. Uh, we have a dock shop line of rods that are designed and, and built specifically for fishing in our area. Inshore, Long Island Sound, Stripers, Blues, uh, Albies, we've got some great Albie rods, 7 foot, 8 to 17 pound weight, uh, really nice plug-in rods. You've got lures, some of them made by local makers. We do, we do, we're proud of that. We've got uh, some handmade cedar plugs by Phase 2, uh, Dick Fincher right in Westport, Connecticut does those by hand. We've got Salties, uh, is a guy, Scott from Massachusetts that makes some cedar plugs 24-7 right from Connecticut, another line of beautiful cedar plugs. Um, and we do all the, all the majors like Stormer and, and again Shimano and Hopkins and Castmaster and, and Hoagie. All those, all those lines are here for everything you're going to catch in our local waters. Tony, clothing a big part of what the dock shop offers at both its Dairy and Westport locations. What are some of the hot brands this year? The hot brands this year would be Montauk Tackle, which is a performance fabric made in the United States by a company right on Long Island. And this week we're featuring two new koozies from them, a drink stainless steel double walled drink cup, as well as a beer can koozie. And as a promotion, we are doing buy a Montauk Tackle button down shirt, performance fabric wear, and you get your choice of either one. Or if you buy the women's performance wear or the men's performance wear, quarter zip, hoodies, um, just performance t-shirts, you also get your choice of one of these wonderful koozies that are made here for Montauk Tackle. And you've got other designers in here as well? Yes, we do. We carry two other lines of clothing, actually three other lines of clothing. We carry Jarrett Bay, which is a manufacturer in the Carolinas, and again made in the United States. We feature some of his dresses, his women's shirts, and um, pants. And then the other designer we have is Kylie Smith, who's from Maryland area and also made in the United States, featuring pants and dresses as well. The third company we carry is Margaritaville, and their apparel is 
life on the water. That's the Jimmy Buffett inspired That's line. correct. That's the Jimmy Buffett inspired line. Um, we have some of their wonderful quarter zip sweatshirts as well here at the dock shop. The holidays are a wonderful time to spend with families and friends, sharing a fantastic meal, football season is in full swing, the fishing has been unbelievable, and it's time to make a list and check it twice. Stop at the dock shop, get a fix of summer, and browse loads of new products, including fishing tackle, accessories, clothing, jewelry, and home decor. Boater, beach bum, fisherman, or simply love the New England coast, this is a unique place to shop. The dock shop. 51 Tokenique Road, Darien, 609 Riverside Avenue, Westport, or DocShop.com. On time, done right, safe and reliable, Mr. Handyman CT. Let our satisfied customers tell it. I have called Mr. Handyman for every reason, every occasion, every broken item, every leak. They have bailed me out on many occasions, and I would recommend them to anyone. For any project, large or small. Mr. Handyman CD. Are you ready for winter? Ski and Sport has everything you need to be fully outfitted for the season. A family owned and operated business with over 40 years of experience, Ski and Sport's three convenient locations in Fairfield County offer top quality high fashion ski and winter wear. In addition to clothing for men, women and children, we also offer seasonal rentals for the entire family. Stop by our stores on 1 Ethan Allen Highway in Richfield, 877 Post Road East in Westport and at 110 Main Street in New Canaan or visit us at skiandsport.net. Why cook at all this holiday? Avoid the stress of holiday planning and let your friends at Walter Stewart's in New Canaan do the heavy lifting. Whether you're looking to fill in with a few crowd-pleasing sides or you want us to prepare your whole feast, from cranberry sauce to pumpkin pie, we're ready to simplify your holiday. Place your order from our holiday menu and spend your holiday the right way, relaxing. Our fresh prepared holiday meals to go are designed with your busy schedule in mind. Visit us at stewartsmarket.com or at 229 Elm Street, New Canaan. If you're watching this broadcast, you're not alone. The HAN Network is available for 200,000 Connecticut cable customers on the Frontier Network. And we've also reached 1.7 million viewers on our free live streaming sports, news, and entertainment broadcasts. To reach our rapidly growing audience, contact Advertising Director Jessica Murren at 203-273-7312 or email jessica at han.network. Welcome back to Yankee Fisherman, presented by The Dock Shop. Thanks again to Michael and Tony for taking some time from their busy holiday season to share with us some last-minute gift ideas. Still time to get fishing before the end of the year. We'll talk more about that later on. But a couple weeks ago, I got a chance to try a new stream, which I've gotten to a lot this year, and I'm very appreciative of it for uh, a number of people and a number of groups, the new experiences this year and the new places I've seen. Uh, this one is through David uh, Fly Fishing Adventures with David Schumacher Photography. And several of us went out on the Swift River a couple weeks ago. What a beautiful place and what beautiful water. And I think when you see this, you'll agree. Mike was saying he's heard about the brookies chasing the rainbows and eating the little ones. Of course, I left... My pink soft tackle home. Yep. I've got orange, I'm putting that on. All right, do what you gotta do.
got one on, Rex? Yeah. 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 I made a back cast, let it fall in the water, and ran out. <laughs> See that? You're getting some nice stuff. I'm going to shut up for a minute. Yeah. But I want to go get the... Uh Yeah, I know. I shoot it all up the cup. Let me when I'm not filming explain it. What did you say? Love me when I'm not filming? Let me when I'm not ready. filming. Richard out toward me more. Toward, toward this tree. Closer to the bank? He's drifting out away from the bank. They're, they're, they're looking at it. Are they? Yeah. My indicator's a little close from where I want it. Well, it'll be obvious. Bang. This is regular black and white, which I don't do very often. You see people. Yeah, you do see people. So I'm just trying to make some stuff. You know what's cool is the way the light is coming through the video. Yeah. Next time we One just I swam past me. It was one. like this big. Continued past me. Wow. Wanted nothing to do with the fly. Very cool to watch this trout chase that fly, learn some new things, try some new techniques with David Schumacher, who's an awesome photographer. Watch some awesome guys fish. Really great day. We're going to step out and be back with more Yankee Fishermen, presented by the Dock Shop, right after this.
The holidays are a wonderful time to spend with families and friends, sharing a fantastic meal, football season is in full swing, the fishing has been unbelievable, and it's time to make a list and check it twice. Stop at the dock shop, get a fix of summer, and browse loads of new products, including fishing tackle, accessories, clothing, jewelry, and home decor. Boater, beach bum, fisherman, or simply love the New England coast, this is a unique place to shop. The dock shop. 51 Tokenique Road, Darien, 609 Riverside Avenue, Westport, or DocShop.com. At Hoyt Livery, our goal is to always... Sam, what are you doing? We're filming a commercial. I'm checking out the new Hoyt On The Go app. Hoyt's, Hoyt's here. here. One, two, three, Abby! You know! I want to find out how good I am. Yes! You relax, you get blown up. Let's get it done! Let's get it done! What can you take advantage of right now? Yeah, come on. I can push myself way beyond what you think. Cash your technique. Bring it back. Have a sports injury or slip and fall that needs immediate care? Coastal Ortho Express Urgent Care gives you direct access to an orthopedic specialist fast, without an appointment. Basketball, hockey, skiing, whatever the sports injury is, sprain or fracture, Coastal Ortho Express can help. Coastal Ortho Express Urgent Care, open Monday through Saturday, now in two locations. The I Park Building at 761 Main Avenue in Norwalk and 36 Old Kings Highway South in Darien. Or go to CoastalOrthoExpress.com, like them on Facebook. What makes Darien special during the holiday season? Locally owned shops and restaurants where you can find everything you need to make your holidays more enjoyable. Start with breakfast, then shop for everything from toys to unique gifts and the latest trends in fashion. Take a coffee break, stop at our farmer's market or one of our shops where you'll find an amazing selection of cheeses and meats. Then enjoy dining at one of our fabulous restaurants. This holiday season, experience shopping and dining in Darien. Give your day a jump start with the latest news, sports, weather, and more on Coffee Break, live on the HAN Network, weekdays at 11 a.m. Connecticut news doesn't get any more local than on Coffee Break. I'm Frank Granito. And I'm Donald Ng for the HAN Network. Tune in to Nutmeg Sports Monday through Thursday, where we bring you all the top stories from Connecticut sports. From highlights to player interviews and expert analysis, no one gets you closer to Connecticut's games than Nutmeg Sports. Nutmeg Sports, now Monday through Thursday at 2 p.m. on the HAN Network. Welcome back to Yankee Fisherman, presented by The Dock Shop on the HAN Network this Thursday, December 22nd. Hanukkah and Christmas just days away. We're already thinking about the new year. By the way, stay tuned. Nutmeg Sports at 2 o'clock. I'll be joining Frank Granito and the rest of the crew. We're going to break down our favorite memories of the fall sports season. And then at uh, 6, uh, 645 or so, 640 tonight, uh, we will be live from the Terry Connors rink in Stamford. With girls ice hockey, I'll be on the call with Frank and uh, Chris Cato, Kalen. Should be a should be a fun night. New Year's Day trips. My NSTU has done a great job of making this a tradition. They'll be having theirs on the first, 10 a.m. Meet at Merwin Meadows in Wilton. Fun time. Information is at myNSTU.org. Uh, Nutmeg TU uh, talking about one as well on New Year's Day. Look for information at nutmegtrout.org. The monthly meeting of the Housatonic Fly Fishermen's Association is going to be Thursday, January 5th at 7 at St. Paul's Episcopal Church, 85, uh, 65 excuse me, North Main in Wallingford. They are going to show the search for the river wolf, which explores remote regions of Mongolia and the search for the world's largest trout species, which is said to grow more than 60 inches live for 50 years. Very cool. I'm hoping I can get up to see that. Don't know that I can. Uh, Farmington Valley TU will hold its annual gear tag sale on January 10th from 6 to 8.30 at the Farmington Community Center. There's info on that at FV 
fvtu.org. Uh, Steve Colton is going to talk about the little things with FVTV, FVTU on January 11th. Surfcasters Demo Day is coming up on January 28th. That is sponsored by the Connecticut Surfcasters Association. Um, very cool event. I went to it last year. I plan on going back. Our friend Matt Lejeune will be uh, talking about getting... Uh, getting ready for surf casting. There'll be a number of lore makers there. Uh, correction on what I just said, by the way, that Steve Colton on the little things, that's at the Candlewood Valley meeting on January 11th. So that info is at cvtu.org. You get surf casters demo day is January 28th. Fly fishing show is in Marlboro, Mass, January 20th through 22nd. It's in Somerset, New Jersey, the weekend after that, 27th through 29th. And the Fly Fishing Film Tour will be making a stop in Trumbull on February 24th. We'll have a lot more on that. Just before we came on the air, we got a trout stocking update from the DEEP. Uh, 244 C4L and Browns have been stocked in Campville.